my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. Stay lucid, friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Drink in your fist? Come on, I'll find you something. I can't. I have a tribute for your father. Oh, what a piece. Mm. That must be worth two sturdy long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Like a seder works through my hammer. <laughs> Speak with the king. Hold it up to the light. Show him the fine details. See there? I etched his name in runes on the outer belt. You'll show him? Mm -hmm. You're just like your father, little berserker. Skull to you. Skull! You see? She agrees. Have the ring? Remember it. This was worn by your grandfather. 
in a battle on the northern way. Mother? Yes? Can we show Sigurd the can stones he stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. We need that in the morning. First light. Clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. <gasps> Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. <laughs> On ocean steed, my words gain wings. Speed our fault will bring. <laughs> Noble deeds that on us sing. <laughs> the brave men slain, Valkyria waves. Rewards are strained to our little tales. And horns resound the mighty horn. Curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. My turn to offer you to the slave. Accept your fate. Die a coward here before your people. And I will spare the rest. Fight, my love. Do not listen. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Baron. No, Aaron. Take up your ass!
in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. How long have you been chasing me, Wolf Kissed? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave. Humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of his crew. Make them suffer. Abel Wolf Kissed is no more. That name is dead to this world. You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> Foolish shit. Uh. You move, and I take your eyes. You hear me? Winds blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? in danger. I need to reach them.
his men. We need to be careful. I need your eyes, my friend. Must be careful now. Clash of iron. There's fighting nearby. Back, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davalt's Nest not long ago. Sailed east. ...leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you! I could storm the beach, then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship.
Cutlass warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. I should not be seen in this area. The longhouse. The crew should be inside. be an opening in the roof. You squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. Time to die. I want to make a mess of it, back out. Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of brawls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice... Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit!
Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it know! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Bind us. What? Oh, yes, of course. My thanks, oh, God's favor, even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. Raggy, grab yours. The whale road leads us home. suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, bone-headed, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Breathe sail! Take it in there. More sail! Hey, hey, look. Someone is setting up an outpost. 
outpost on that island. Shut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them.
Like you could handle yourself in a fight. It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjorn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested? How? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Huh. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they come? What tiny little child approaches. Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? Not now. Fair, fair. Return if you change your mind.
The other side must be barred. Run up the sail! Let the sail out! Best sail! that will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burned bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze.
And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Kyotvis fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since. The day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Welcome back. Gunnar. 
I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not the man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all for now. Return any time. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Is there something else? See you later, Svein. Sure. Down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders.
Thank you, Eivor. Now I have something for you. See, si. all in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Hi, can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Who would this enjoy land the will never prosper while clan battles Sing! Who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. 
In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull, Then I will spit in your face and I will bash in your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly and you told me you would kill me. At times it might be best to remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will fly to you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Think you can match horns with me? Hmm? Get you as well drunk. Well done. You look like you know... I do miss the rattling of bone. Yes, or look. Join me? Let's do this, then. All right, then. Let us begin. Like this. Interesting.
our defeat is imminent. Game. The gods favored your hand today. Shall we go again? That is enough, Orlok, for now. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Go!
Kevin is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Ivan, wake up! Or you will be cast into the wild! Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die... Everyone dies. Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> Ivan! Ivan! Calm down. You are asleep. No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go. Valka? Yes. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Satan. She gives thanks, and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lost, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. 
And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure, a gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Valka. Felt nothing. Havi! Havi! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? There's no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Sigurd! Sigurd! What has... what has happened? This was not for you, Harvey.
steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods! I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla. ...for which you are destiny. And the wolf was eager for my attention... ...as if it were... ...beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, ...fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition... ...or your fear. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint. Casey. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No! This is wrong! Oh, you misunderstand! That cannot be right! You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate! It can be done!
looking rough you are. Welcome home. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stubjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances, waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed? Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Arryn. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go. Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. Brantvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. He is standing safely beside him. He must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kissed was captured by Kyotr's men. 
They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that, your father scolded me. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotre from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kyotre the Crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Uh, father... Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, Father, we will talk of Kyotre and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Niklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes hoard Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago. To rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. For my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringu. Now drink. Put Thor 
Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a heart longing to return at once. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. Now, I gift one of these secrets to you, a weapon for the finest warrior I know. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon. Than a tool, one we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Heifer. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. <laughs> this clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. Not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic technique. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good, or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? 
Leave all that aside, Daribor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotve's warriors! I need your eyes, my friend. We should return to North Pole with our report, while we can. We can bring just the news of the longsword. Or we can wake him with Sigurd Styrgjörnsson's head. Which is better? All right. When Jot returns, we wait. Good. 
Let me grow stronger. I speak as your... We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kyotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notful, that whaling village under Kyotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Let's get out of here. No raising the sail here. We can raise Let the, the sail, sail out. In this order. Warriors, Drengi. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering Stories if I should place. ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtwes and Green Sail. I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am. Home in time to join those I have missed. Those More I love sail in this glorious fight. Today... Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. Who will beseech the gods for aid? For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Bukist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stierbjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. Get ready! Test sail!
I should be cautious. This area is off limits. Shit! Hail Raventlan! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorp. Uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it, for I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. 
With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kurtway's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kyotwe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kyotwe and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florve, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kurtvis head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kurtvis stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kyrtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kyrtve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyrtve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors, and cut short the cord of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Vasim, hide them. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kyotve yourself? We did. Or rather, 
We came so that Python could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kyotwe's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Python, I mean no disrespect to you or the hidden ones. But Kyotwe is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kyotwe dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! Once again, Abel Wilkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged, Wolfkiss. Scream, as your mother screamed. You destroyed my life! I will take you! Rise, Abel. This is not your day to die. Why do you refuse to die? We're not alone, Chutney. The old father watches. My blade will. You are your father's child.
London? What do you want of me? The one your price will test the glory of my death. if you must, into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorham. His debt repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy! Archers, fire! Ah! Oh! 
Made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. The breath of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cup may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Alding at Alvikstadio. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and he will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunan. Another time.
Does everyone in Alrekstadia play their love games so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age? No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He, he would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. After a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only, uh... Well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. Raid? Amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground! I am as hard as Heimdall's tower! Then run me like the Valkyrie skates and enter Valhalla! Take all plunder you want, Vikinger! Take us also and let the love hunger consume you! Another time, maybe. But I will help myself to your chest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Shall we lock horns? Sink it faster than me. You are the winner. Let's see your silver. What's a drinking game without a prize? Let's do this. Ah, we drink. <laughs> Thirsty foe, down it faster than me. A uh, fear go. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's troops, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim. Watch over this one, and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. This is how your brotherhood operates. You sneak around in the daylight, stepping your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice. Shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark. ...to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. Hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, 
for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. Clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there in the camp ahead. Something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? You Arga shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep growing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The all thing will have started. I should find Sigurd.
pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arms near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Jor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this, Lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson. You dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjortve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Exile, Lord. Banish him to the wilds where even a slave could kill him with impunity. A wise choice. Death would be too easy a way out. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me, not a word, and I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall, you drink adult cow, alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. 
Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. All I know of fate is that its pattern is unknowable. I do not worry beyond that fact. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Harold's colors. He is already marking his territory. Gods, he's spraying like a horny puppy. Harold may be young, but he is clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. It will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight! Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. ...to England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England... ...only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. 
But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep your position. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. And it's flattering. You think one will marry you? Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father, as graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anchor, Lord. No, you must be his better half. May Agdir bless your voyage. Ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. 
Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established yeah. a settlement near the coast. We set sail from them. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! For Valhalla! at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Beautiful, but it's not normal. Runes.
tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How was the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar. I'll tattoo it on my leg. Nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Okay. Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can... No, find... I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf beast. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. 